Welcome back to Maxim's Inside Track. I hope you've had a good fortnight uh, and two weeks certainly is a long time in the dairy world at the moment. Uh, if you're one that likes volatility, there's certainly been significant uh, amounts of, of that across the board. Uh, we've got uh, US uh, dairy funds over there, funding aid packages. We've got the EU opening sort of private storage and, and intervention, uh, which is affecting these, these markets and, and these prices. Uh, yeah, so I'll kick this one off with, uh, with full cream milk powder. Uh, it has drifted off slightly on the GDT. Um, we have seen demand from China and Southeast Asia. The, the Middle East has drifted off, uh, as you could imagine, with um, pressure on those oil prices. Uh, we, we suspect that we're, we're now heading towards sort of four-year lows with whole milk powder and uh, coming into the new season, uh, not boating that well, um, and especially for uh, an opening New Zealand milk price. Um, so yeah, let's hope that that balances out. Demand does come back in and we, we stabilise around these numbers for the next period. Moving on to skim milk powder now, uh, we have seen some support for skim. Uh, both the uh, the EU and the US have uh, have started to, to drift back up in pricing, um, and then in particular on the GDT platform, up six plus percent, uh, and that was across uh, the next four or five months contracts. Uh, pretty buoyant um, demand uh, across the the coming months, so that's encouraging. Uh, however off a reasonably low base. Um, so we suspect to see skim probably supported at these numbers uh, for the next period. Um, uh, yeah, I do have some concerns around demand, but it does feel like a really solid initial pipeline fill. Um, so there is people that are short and uh, have dived uh, back into the market at once. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure whether it's gonna rally up uh, beyond the these levels, there is still inventories around, so it will hinge on demand a little bit, but uh, nice to see it um, pop up off these lows. On to butter and AMF now. This once again is a, a food service uh, demand type scenario. We have seen uh, cream pricing and cream demand uh, on the back of opening up these restrictions around the restaurants and cafe trade uh, starting to, to pop up and on the back of that uh, demand for, for butter and, and AMF has also increased. So uh, it's interesting that um, Oceana prices uh, are still considerably above uh, the EU and the US however they have um, they have started to to rise up on cream demand and these food service demand opening back up again uh, as to how quickly that happens how long that takes and, and how patronized these venues are going to be is still another question um, which will remain to be seen yeah Moving on to cheddar cheese now. Uh, this is an interesting one as well. Um, in terms of volatility, we've seen that American market uh, drift off significantly and then bounce back to, uh, to, to where it was basically as of about four or five weeks ago. So a real V-shape type um, curve uh, in, the, in the US. Um, the European prices uh, have drifted off as well. Oceana starting to come back, however, still well above. Uh, European pricing. Uh, retail demand still pretty strong for this product. Uh, once again, um, it is an expensive product and uh, will it continue to be consumed um, at a retail level uh, as you know um, incomes decrease and unemployment increases? Uh, you know, we do need to rely on that food service market, the, the pizza chains, etc., to continue to um, remain open and people to, uh, to go out and and eat outside the home. So I suspect that this category will remain under pressure for a little while to come. 
on to whey and lactose. Now, uh, whey powder's drifted off, and then we have seen a slight uh, uptick um, just recently in the last week or so, uh, as opposed to lactose, which is on a bit of a bull run at the moment. Um, yeah, both uh, regular grade and pharmaceutical grade. Um, that infant demand has been uh, extremely high. Uh, in particular, some of the manufacturers just realizing with um, the supply chain that it isn't always uh, immediate, so they're now starting to cover some longer periods, and that's brought considerable demand uh, back into the market um, for infant manufacture. Uh, and we've also seen China demand reasonably strong on the back of uh, repopulating that uh, hog or, or pig market over there, so um, that's, uh, that's helped support lactose pricing as well. Thanks very much for listening once again. Stay safe, have a good couple of weeks. No doubt there's some more volatility to come. We've got some um, opening milk prices coming up in, in Oceania. Let's hope that there's some reasonable numbers there. Uh, our feeling is that we should err on the side of caution. Um, it's just yeah, these, uh, these unemployment uh, numbers and incomes uh, hanging over the market. But um, yeah, stay safe. Talk to you soon.